Hey fellow garage golfers, Roland here with Garage Golf. We'd like to see some pretty mediocre golf, but on a really, really awesome golf simulator program. Stay tuned, that's coming at you right now. All right, thanks again for watching and welcome back. Here at Garage Golf, we provide information on golf products, golf simulators, golf equipment, golf technology, and pretty much anything golf related. So if you're new to our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And before we get started with this video, don't forget to check our affiliate links in the video description below, as well as our landing page at www.rainorshinegolf backslash garage golf. If you wanna help support our channel, that's how you do it. Basically, we'll provide affiliate links to you for, for companies that we partner with that have a really good reputation. So if you're interested in purchasing anything like a golf mat, a golf simulator, Unicore, Skytrack, Mevo Plus, anything like that, and you're watching this video, please make sure to check our affiliate links or visit our landing page at rainorshinegolf.com backslash garage golf. We do get a small profit from you using those links at no additional cost to you at home. And of course, we're here anytime to answer any and all of your questions. If you have any questions on simulator products, reach out to me anytime at roland at mygaragegolf.com. Let's jump right into the video. All right, so the simulator program that we're gonna be playing today is gonna to be one that maybe some of you out there haven't heard of yet. And I mean, that's why I'm excited to bring it to you. And that is GS Pro. So those of you who aren't familiar with it, if you've ever seen Jack Nicholas Perfect Golf, you're gonna know the people that are behind GS Pro. So the quick story behind Jack Nicholas Perfect Golf is it kind of went away. Uh, Trackman bought the rights to it, took it over there, and nobody else had access to it. This was available previously on Skytrack um, and other programs where once that happened, it kind of went away. And in August, it pretty much went away altogether, August of 2020. So behind the scenes, quietly, uh, the people that were running Jack Nicholas Perfect Golf started creating GS Pro from scratch using Unity software. Uh, this is an incredible program. It's just in beta stage now, so there's actually no fee to use it other than a $30 uh, fee to go ahead and set up Simulator Golf Tour, and that's going to allow you to be part of the actual Simulator Golf Tour, and you do have to sign up for that in order to have access to the beta. Now, a couple of quick things, just in case you're watching out there and you have a certain simulator, I do want to alert you right now before we go further in this video. Currently, as of right now, the GS Pro beta is only available for Unicore and for GC2. It is not available, unfortunately, for Skytrack or for Mevo Plus. So that's definitely something I want to alert you guys of right away. However, I do want to show you the program. And what I would like for you to do is if you like what you see, we want you to reach out to the people at Skytrack and to reach out to people at Mevo Plus. I want this to become a program that everyone has access to in the future. And once you see a little bit more of the gameplay, I think you'll see why. So if you're not familiar with Jack Nicklaus Perfect Golf though, they had an incredible tour run by an incredible group of people. So we had a system where there was FedEx points. Every, every week you play a tournament, you go through uh, Q school, you qualify, you get a handicap. It would track your stats as far as average drives, longest drives, average iron shots per club, pretty much everything under the sun. If you were on tour in real life and you're on tour on the simulator, it's tracking all those stats. It's tracking your FedEx cup points. They do Ryder Cup tournaments. They do all kinds of things. Really, really cool. By far, hands down, the best online, basically, league or simulator program available to date. So I'm really, really excited that we have GS Pro. And again, it's still in beta status, but I want to show you a little bit more about the product, and I wanted to tell you a little bit more about it. I will put in the video description information on how you can sign up for the beta if you have a Unicore QED or an IXO or a GC2. So if you're interested, check the video description. I'm going to put links for you on how to sign up, how you join the beta, and how you become part of the simulator golf tour. So um, the one thing I do want to reiterate about this product is this is a product created by the people for the people. So really, really cool. All the courses that are on there are LiDAR-based courses that are recreated from the ground up. Really, really cool. Elevations are accurate. There's not 20 versions of every course. There's only one version of every course. Once it gets approved, then it gets put into the system and you can download these courses for use. So I wanna jump right into the simulator software. We're gonna play three holes. We're playing which three holes today on GS Pro. Using the Unicore IXO. I'm gonna show you a little bit more about the integrated setup, how we get the round started. And then I'm gonna show you again, probably some pretty mediocre golf. Well, and on what I feel is a really, really cool 
golf simulator program. So stick with me for just a minute. I'm gonna take you straight to the computer. I wanna show you a few things and then we'll go ahead and get started with the golf. Here we are in the simulator golf or SG Pro program here. And I wanna show you right now, the features that we have are local game, online game, tournaments, practice, and settings. They have a Discord page that you can go to if you wanna play online games and meet up with other people and play rounds of golf. I will also put that link in the video description for you. So I wanna show you a few things. Again, if you wanna do a practice round, you can go to the driving range, you can do on-course practice, where you go and you can actually place the ball wherever you'd like to place it. And pretty much any negative feedback about Jack Nicklaus Perfect Golf that people had, they've pretty much been addressed here on SG Pro. So that's what I'm really, really excited about. There's tournaments that they'll have once you join the Simulator Golf Tour. You can play in the weekly tournaments as well. Uh, again, online game features. But for today's purpose, I'm going to show you just a local game. And when I click on local game, you're going to see right now I only have three courses. Uh, you actually can go to the website, and again, under the video description, I'll put the link on where you would download the courses once you have a login for simulatorgolftour.com. And you're going to see that you can download, right now there's about three page worth, worth of courses that you can download. So I want to show that to you, but I've downloaded a few, Wingfoot, um, Chambers Bay, and of course, Georgia Golf Club, otherwise known as Augusta National. So we're going to play three holes on Augusta today. I'm going to go ahead and click that course for you. And here's what you see prior to starting up the round. So you're going to have the option to play up to eight people at one time, which is great. Under game type, you'll see that we have the option to do stroke play, alternate shot, green sum, scramble, Stableford, and practice. So lots of different gameplay options. You can actually select different holes that we're going to play as well. So I do like that feature. Um, you can set up your pin placement, stint meter, your gimmies, mulligans, yes or no, stroke play, um, so this is going to be something that I'm going to basically just leave as is the way it is uh, and show you guys at home. So I'm going to go ahead and start this game here. I'm going to take you to the course. We're going to show you three holes of gameplay. I'm going to pick a par three, a par four, and a par five. Since it is in beta status, I would like to see the ability to see what type of hole each one is. So in other words, if I wanted to pick a par four, I'd like to know which holes are par fours, which holes are par fives, and which holes are par three. That's one feedback that I'm going to provide now just because I would like to see that feature if I were to select one. So we're going to play A-Man's Corner today. So I'm going to go ahead and get that started. I will tell you which holes we're playing here, and we'll go ahead and jump right into the gameplay. And before we take our first shot, let's show you a few features of the gameplay itself. You see on the upper right-hand corner here, we have a little drop-down box, and we can select certain things such as turning on the grid, which I'm going to do there. Uh, the flag stick as well, which you can select. And then that's pretty much it for now that I'm going to select there. And of course here we can actually pull up the map. So here's where you will aim with your mouse as far as where you want to hit this shot. For example, anywhere in the fairway there, that's where I'm going to aim. If you wanted to adjust your ball on the tee box, you can click here. And that's one thing that you can move as well, which is a really, really nice feature. I like that. And then data, I'm going to click on data as well. So as I pull up data, it's going to show me all my shots that's getting calculated from my launch monitor and being integrated into this game. So we're going to have all this data up that we're going to be able to see. We're going to be able to see the map as well. Um, there's also a really cool feature as well that you can pull up if you hit L. If you uh, were familiar with Jack Nicklaus Perfect Golf, you used a program called Reshade with it that would allow you to change certain colors and different things. Um, so if I wanted to change like the sunlight strength, for example, and just adjust it, you see how dark it can get or how bright it can get. There's different things that you can adjust, such as saturation, colors, anything like that. You can darken bunkers. You can brighten the environment if you want to. Just different features that are really, really cool. So you set this how you want, and then you would save it and exit, or you can go back to default. So I'm just going to hit cancel. Uh, but something I wanted to show you as well, because this is basically built in. You used to have to download another program to be able to do this and now it's all here and ready to go so i did notice on the left here there's some options that you can't select so i'm going to find out why you can't select those could just be because it's still in a beta status uh, but again something really cool that i like that they added to this program as well so we're starting a hole number 11 of amen corner it is a 414 yard par four we're going to start with this driver I haven't played a lot of golf recently so let's see how we do All 
All right, so we had a decent drive down the fairway there. That's gonna put us 188 yards away now for a second shot. All right, and again, we're 188 yards away, but I wanna show you a couple other features really, really quick. So let's say we select a spot on the mini map that we wanna check out. If you were to select that spot on the map and then hit F3, it's gonna zoom in directly to where that spot is now as far as where you were aiming on the mini map. So if I select down here, you're gonna see now that I have that spot there selected. But let's say I select down here and I hit F3, you're gonna see exactly zoomed in where that spot is, which is really cool. So I'm gonna aim it right in the center of the green, basically about 179. It's gonna show you that I'm actually 7.8 yards downhill from this shot, 188 yards away. Down here in the bottom left, you can select your club. So if you were to say, and the good thing about Simulator Golf Tour is it does track a lot of your club shots. So if you were to select your accurate clubs, you can get data on how you're, how you're hitting these clubs, which is really nice. So from 188 yards, I'm probably gonna use something like a six iron because it's downhill. So I'm gonna select a six iron for this shot and right or left-handed as well. This is just for their tracking purposes also. Uh, you can also go through this without having to do that. So something I wanna show you. Um, another cool thing is let's say that we wanted to look around now. So I hit F5 and one of the cool things about F5 is that there's a lot of simulator programs where you, let's say you land near a tree, for example, and you don't know exactly where that golf ball is. You can hit F5 and then basically float around 360 to see everything around you as far as where you're at and where you're located and where the ball is. Is it in front of that tree? Is it behind the tree? So really cool feature. It's a little sensitive, as you can tell, but I just moving my mouse here, basically. Uh, but F5 will take you to that float feature. So anywhere you're at where that golf ball is, if you're in the woods and you need to see if you're in front of a tree, if you're behind a tree, whatever, you can hit F5, you can move the arrow around as needed, and then basically aim uh, where you need to aim and know exactly where you're located. So I like that feature very, very much. So it's definitely something I wanted to show you at home. Let's go ahead and take the second shot now using that six iron and we're ready to go. Pretty decent stroke. Now the greens are pretty fast in this program. You can adjust the stint, but it's preset at 10. So now we got a putt for birdie on this hole. All right, and pretty fast greens here on GS Pro. So I wanna show you a couple of things as well. Obviously you see the dots very similar to something like, if you've ever played Mario Golf or anything like that, you know how this works basically reading a putt. Uh, but one of the cool features that they had with Jack Nicklaus Perfect Golf that GS Pro also has is what's called a break line indicator. So if you were to click with your mouse, you can actually drag the flag stick all the way to where you're putting and see how the break goes throughout the actual putt itself. So you're gonna see that it always breaks to the left just like the dots indicate, but sometimes it breaks further or it breaks less towards the hole. So I'm gonna aim kind of about here and we're gonna try to hit a putt from there and see how we're at. So we're basically 47 and a half feet. We're a little bit uphill. Uh, and again, pretty fast greens from what I remember. Um, so I'm going to try to hit it. And this is gonna be part of just getting used to this program, but I'm gonna try to hit me a putt that's gonna get me close to 47. And I do have gimme set at six feet. So let's go ahead and take that shot. All right, let's see how we do on this putt. All right, came up a little bit short. I got a putt now from about nine feet away. So again, I have to get used to the actual speed of these greens. Other than that, pretty accurate putting in my opinion. Again, right under a 10 foot putt, it's about 10 feet from where my ball is to where my screen is. So I'm gonna try to hit it right about that distance and see how we do. And I didn't hit that putt, so we got a bogey on that first hole. Let's move on to the par three, hole number 12 on Amen Corner. Okay, and here we are in hole number 12, 148.7 yards away. I'm gonna aim where I want to aim here on the actual green, play hopefully a safe shot about 150 yards away. And we are shooting again a par three here. If I were to hit F3, you're gonna see exactly where I'm aimed. 
So I'm going to try to hit something, maybe like an 8 iron to get it over there. That's my shot. Let's see how we do. Okay, good strike there. A little short. And we're going to be off the back of the green. Hit a little too hard on that shot. So we got a chip and hopefully a putt for par. All right, here we are on the green. So I can hit F3 to see what we're doing. And I can drag it again, use that BLM to show exactly where I'm aiming. So I'm going to aim a little right of this flag stick here. And it's a little bit uphill as well, about one foot uphill. And that's where we're basically going to be aiming. There you see the green grid as well. So let's go ahead and we are 31.2 yards away. And again, about one foot uphill. So I'm going to try to chip a gap wedge up there and get it close. So it kind of thinned it a bit, but it worked out for me. So I'm not too far away here. Seven feet, hopefully I can get this for par. And as you see, as with other simulator golf programs, you line up your shot and where you're aiming first, and then you just putt straight into your screen. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna try to hit a putt from about seven feet away here. And I made that one for par. So we're moving on to the last hole, which is par five on Amen Corner. All right, so not a very good shot at all. Actually a really, really bad shot, but that's how it is. I'm gonna take it and see if we can get there still in five. All right, and basically what I have now is just a layup shot trying to get me to a third shot that's manageable to land on the green. So I'm gonna use a five iron and get down there as far as I can. All right, so we're rolling backwards still. I now have a shot from 137 yards to try to land it on the green. Another pretty bad shot, only 137 yards with a five iron. So I did roll back a bit, but still pretty bad shot altogether. Let's line up this last shot here on Amen Corner. About 136 yards, I am uphill about six feet. Hit F3, you'll see exactly where I'm aiming. And we're ready to go with our shot. Okay, we are 137 yards away. I'm going to be using an eight iron. I'm gonna see if we can get this shot here. Auto populates the nine iron on the program, but I'm using an eight iron in this case. So let's go ahead and get it close. Pretty good stroke. Stop. Mm. Isn't that just what happens to most of us? Now I'm in the bunker and I'm trying to get on and in for par. All right, I'm actually pretty glad I went in the bunker because I want to show you guys something that I haven't shown you yet. Most simulator programs are not very good about telling you where you're at in regards to what, how you're getting penalized with a shot. So here I am in the green side bunker and you're gonna see my speed is only gonna be 86% and my spin is going to be 60% of what a normal shot would be. So if I knew I hit a full sand shot, say for example, 60 yards and I'm getting penalized, then I could accommodate from there or adjust from there. Or let's just say I, I'm using a gap wedge and I know that my gap wedge will normally hit about 90 yards. I know that my spin's gonna be down about 40% and my speed's gonna be down about 86% because I'm penalized here in the sand. So that's just something to keep in mind at home. I am 22.6 yards away. If I hit the green, again, you're gonna see the slope. I can aim anywhere I want. I'm gonna to try to aim up on top of this hill a bit. Hit a shot about 10 yards and then hopefully roll down towards that hole there. So I'm gonna use a 60 degree for the shot. Let's go ahead and take that shot now. All right, I'm gonna try a bit of a flop shot here and see how we do. And again, I'm 22 yards away. I'm gonna use a 60 degree wedge and hit a little bit of a flop.
Get in there. Get in there. Ooh, and that's going to be a gimme within six feet. And we're good. So that's it for today. What did you guys think of Golf Simulator or GS Pro? And if I called it SG Pro, I'm sorry, but it's GS Pro, Golf Simulator Pro. Really, really cool product. Um, I'm still pretty geeked about that flop shot out of the sand. What did you guys think? Let me know what you think about the program. I'll be right back with you in just a minute. Now let's look at that scorecard. So I got a one over on Amen Corner and uh, you know, you really can't do, you can do a lot better, but you can't do a whole lot better. So I'm pretty happy with that. One over on Amen Corner. I'm definitely gonna take that for today. Pretty happy with that on which three holes today. Uh, again, Augusta National, Georgia Country Club, whatever you wanna call it. Really, really cool stuff. Had a really good time doing this video. All right, and so just to wrap it up, I'd like to know your thoughts on GS Pro. I think it's gonna be a really cool product. And again, right now it's beta only. I do expect to see this come out on major platforms. Hopefully, people at SkyTrack and people at Mevo Plus will incorporate this as part of their programs because I can pretty much tell you it's a really, really awesome product and I think it's definitely going to compete with others that are out there. They all have their strengths and weaknesses. The strength of this program by far is the online community, the Discord, the uh, online basically leagues and tournaments and everything that are going on. So I'm happy to answer any and all questions you have on this product. Feel free to reach out to me anytime at Roland at MyGarageGolf.com. Let me know if you have any questions. I love doing these videos for you guys. So let me know if you'd like to see something else, a specific golf course, anything more with GS Pro. And again, I may have called it SG Pro before. If I did, I apologize for that. But it's GS Pro, which is Golf Simulator Pro and SGT, which is Simulator Golf Tour. That's the tour behind GS Pro. So you're gonna pay basically just to join the SGT Tour. And for right now, the beta is free for GS Pro as long as you have a compatible Unicore or GC2 that will work with it. So if you have not yet tested this out, make sure again to check my links in the video description below. Make sure you join this, get, the, get access to the beta, check it out get on that Discord and start communicating with the awesome people that are on there. So I can definitely vouch for everyone that's on there. I've been part of that program before. Here's one other thing I haven't shared with you. Let's say you have a friend that comes over on a regular basis or another family member, and they wanna have their own account on SGT, which is Simulator Golf Tour. They can join again for $30 and then basically have their own account. It's gonna track all their own stats. They're gonna have all their own FedEx points and all that kind of stuff. Really, really awesome stuff. So. I wanted to do this video to share that with you guys to let you know what we're thinking about the program. I think it's really cool. I think I'm looking forward to testing it out further. Um, again, strength and weaknesses, but it's still a beta. I'd like to see a few more camera views if possible, um, other than the one that it has a standard. I'd like to have a full follow feature where it automatically follows it. This one kind of follows it from a, a third person point of view, and then it follows it from directly behind, which I like, I don't, I don't mind it. I'd also like to be able to see um, the trail be a little thicker so you can see it from further away which you may or may not have seen on my green screen behind me as well. So little things, but again, still in beta testing. And one of the coolest parts about this is that they listen to what you want and they put it in the program. So again, uh, really appreciate you guys hanging out with us. If you have not yet done so, join our Facebook group down below. That's where we communicate with you at home and answer any and all of your questions. You can always reach out to me at Roland at mygaragegolf.com. And again, don't forget to check out our affiliate links in the video description or our landing page at rainorshinegolf.com backslash garage golf. That's how we continue to make these videos for you guys at home. So I really appreciate you checking out our links first if you're looking to buy something. Uh, and again, any questions anytime, whether you go through our links or not, feel free to reach out to me, ask me your questions. That's why I created this channel for you guys at home. So I love doing that and I love interacting with our viewers and people. And we're getting close to 5,000 views. I'm really pumped about that. I'm a little bit sad that the PGA show this year, I just found out today is virtual only. So I'm not gonna be able to go to the PGA show and bring you all the videos like we did last year, but I am still gonna follow it and bring you content as well. So as always, thanks again for hanging out with us. If you have any questions, reach out anytime. If you have not yet done so, subscribe to our channel, give us a big thumbs up for this video. Until the next time we see you, as always, keep on golfing. Thanks again.